Hello and welcome back to the studio in South Wales, UK. It's a little bit chilly in here today. Yes, I haven't got the heating on. Anyway, I was thinking, maybe mountains, a hmm? few trees. Let's have a look what we can actually come up with with the colours that I've got on the palette today. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. So thank you very much for joining me in the studio and I want to give a quick shout out to Mr. Jason Bowen. If you haven't gone across to his channel, please click the icon there. There's a video there on Jason's paintings and it takes you along to his channel. He's, he's a fantastic artist in all ways, shapes and forms. He does watercolours, oils, digital art. That's the place to go. It really is. I want a big shout out to Jason's mum. Hello, Jason's mum. How are you? And Jason's dad. Yes, Jason's mum. This painting is for you. This is all about acrylics and um, I only use acrylics. Anyway, without further ado, let's have a look at the palette. So what have I got? I got a little bit of blue, just a little bit of waste blue. Any, any blue you got, I, that's, that's process blue actually. I got some white. I have mixed a little bit of snow white. If you want to know how to make snow white, how do, how do you make this thick paint, then there will be a description in a link in the description or a, an eye card there but you should know if you followed me before how i make this now um also some black a little bit more white there are two different types of white that's a zinc white which is a very very um transparent white and this is a a, um, a normal white a titanium white which is opaque a little bit of burnt umber that's it and a palette knife <laughs> simple 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 so today i thought i want to show you like glazing techniques and things like that. I want to explain the difference between can you do this on cardboard and a difference between doing it on canvas, etc. I'll talk to you about that as we progress. So what I thought we would do um, is a winter scene today um, because winter's, winter's, winter's fast approaching. We've got Christmas on the horizon and I thought it would be nice, would be nice if we did some sort of winter scene. Now this is a time to start painting your your winter your, your Christmas cards. If you want to make some Christmas cards and things like that. A little bit of burnt umber into that white because I want to make this quite a dirty, dirty looking sky. Maybe a little bit of blue in there. Just to give it a little bit of a tint. There we go. Quite a thin colour. Now I can I can use thin paints on cardboard because as you know acrylics will um, soak in to the fibers of the board even if it's got um, some sort of gesso on it which this have which is a pre-coat it's an undercoat basically which I've which I've done there you go um, as I said if you, if, you, if, if you want to know all about that please please click into the i cards and um, go into go into the, my lessons um, and don't forget to click the notification bell because I upload every week on a Monday and I don't want you to, I wouldn't like you to miss out. I wouldn't like you to miss out. I want to talk about layers as well as we progress with this today. So a nice, like, dirty sky. There we are. I want to get a little bit of blue. Not a lot of blue in this. Because I'm, I'm going to do something later on just, just to re-emphasize the sky. But I just want to get that little hint of maybe something in the background that that very very misty murky very distant type of washed out type of color now you can do this on cardboard as i said because cardboard and paper because you can you can paint on um, canvas paper as well you can buy that in packs um i showed, i got some here somewhere i'll show you this is this is canvas paper it's acrylic it's an acrylic pad there you go. It's an acrylic pad that I, I that you can use, and I specifically designed for acrylics. So you can use acrylics as thin as thin as you want on that, and not on canvas, because canvas it'll tend to flake away. Because the nature of um, the nature of this paint is that it doesn't really like. I'm going to mix some um, white. It doesn't really like a little bit of black. So I got a little bit of black, bit of burnt umber. It doesn't really like. Um, is that black? Yes, it is. It's a midnight black. <laughs> it doesn't really like 
um, to be over thinned um, at least a minimum of 40% really um, a maximum I should say of 40% water to, to acrylic paint um, because it, it will it will flake it will flake off um, just check it everything's working <laughs> so because this is quite distant I want to make some distant trees in the background like this just tapping the brush in just tapping the brush in like that there you go very light you can see that color is quite a light color and as you come forward things get slightly darker so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna I'm gonna just gonna uh, throw in a couple of these things. I'm just gonna make a little bit of shadow, just here and there like this. You can see I'm just tapping the brush in. I'm just tapping the brush in like that. There you go. So we I got some distant trees there. So I'm gonna get some of this. I'm sure that's, that's a midnight black that I made ages ago and um, it's a little bit blue actually. <laughs> anyway, mix a bit of burnt umber and a bit of that. Any black will do, Mars black, anything like that. And what I thought I'd do is I, I put, I'm going to put in some sort of a, a mountain in front of there like that. And just using the, the brush. Doesn't matter what shape this mountain is, it could be any shape you want. Just put that in. Get that shape in there, just like that. There we go. Let me get a little bit bigger. Got to have a friend, and then come down like that. Bring that down there. There you go. And then we let that dry. So we got those distant trees in the background. We got this little bit of a mountain shape thing going on then. I'm going to bring that across there like that. Scagging that in. Just clean your brush. That's what I normally do is just clean my brush off. Get a bit of paint on our canvas. Or cardboard, whatever you use. Right, okay, so I'm just going to put that brush there, chuck that bit of paper in the bin, and then I'm just going to dry this off very quickly. So what I'm going to do in this particular mountain is I'm not going to use my palette knife with my very thick paint. What I've decided to do is use a brush at first. Now, if you've watched the Bob Ross techniques and uh, even Jason, um, just Jason's a fantastic artist as far as Bob Ross techniques are concerned. You, Please go along and because you're missing out if you don't check that channel out. You really are. Anyway, cut the long story short. I'm going to get a little bit of blue and white. There we go. So a little bit of blue and white. Just get that off off white color. There we go. I'm just using the side of a brush like this. Now with, with, with acrylics, um, you need to dry your layers before you start painting on top of them. With oils, you can do a wet on wet technique. So what I'm going to do is just just put in some snow because this is going to be snow in the background like that I'm bringing that down dragging that down like that get a little bit more blue on the brush and a slightly darker blue because I want to put some shadows in There you go. So and increase the white just a touch. So I guess get a little bit more white being very careful that I don't go too bright. Right. 
and just a little bit of highlight here and there and there and here right I'm not happy with those I did so I'm taking the paint off my brush like that and then I'm just going to smooth that down and just make a good a job out of a bad job there we go allow yourself sometimes to make mistakes allow yourself sometimes to make mistakes so getting this blue again I'm just going to put in some just snow and bits and pieces a little bit darker Put some shadows in. Let the underpaint in, but that, that colour, let the underpaint in, do the work for you. Wonderful thing this time of year when we can paint snowy mountains. It's a wonderful thing to be able to do, I think. So, what I want to do now is changing my brush back into this really dark colour. I want to put an almighty big mountain in front doesn't matter what color you're using this is going to be in front of that one just in a nice dark color you just need a nice dark color and then just bring that mountain in front of that one just like that a bit more brown a bit more this black bluey black color just make it nice and dark just get that in like that let's put a little friend there like that there you go get a little bit of this dark I can see a little bit of blue in there so in fact I'll tell you what I'm going to do I'm going to put a little bit of black on my palette because that is very very blue and I don't like that it's a bit too blue for my liking so I got another black here that I made as you can see I, I have made my own I do make my own paints and it is uh, lessons on my channel if you want to know how to make paints then please pop along um, my website is currently unavailable and it was going to be currently unavailable for quite the foreseeable future because I'm having difficulties in getting the stock of different products that I need a lot of my stuff um, comes from abroad um, from Europe um, that's where I buy a lot of my stock um, materials from and um, the way things are at the moment with transportation and covid and things like that in this country um, and brexit um, i'm having difficulties so i've just shut the website down until things improve as far as um, supply is concerned so you could see i've got a, a few distant trees in the background a little tiny baby mountain but there you know you could i could make those trees a little, it's just just something i'm just giving you an idea um, I'm going to dry this off really well now. So that's going to take me about five, five, ten minutes to get that really, really dry. So I'm just going to cut the video and I shall see you in a tick. Well, I very much hope that that's okay because <laughs> now I'm going to do one of the most, f my favorite, one of my f most favorite things uh, to do is to make a mist on mountains. And um, I use a zinc mix in white for this particular technique and you can get that quite thin but I'm also gonna add some blue to it so don't don't add too much of of a of a, an opaque color because you're just gonna destroy the ability to to a glaze on you now when you're glazing with um, on canvas um, it's advisable that you use some sort of a medium um, a glazing medium a matte or gloss or if you can add a matte and a gloss together and make it like a, um, a semi um, it's, it's like a, um, a semi matte then 
um, that's the way to do it um, is use a glazing medium, a little bit of water. Um, and there are videos, as I've said, on my channel. Please go to my main channel, www.clive5art.co.uk. Not, not, not .co.uk. On YouTube, there are, it's, the, the link is there to the, to the main button anyway. Um, just type in Clive5art in YouTube. I'm getting all confused. You. It's not difficult at my age. <laughs> so I'm just going to put a wash now of colour. I'm not too worried about this one. But I want to, basically, I didn't dry that off very well, look. Let's put a bit of mist in there. there that's working quite well, actually. It was a happy accident. Let's put a bit of mist in there. There we go. It wasn't as dry as I wanted it to be. So just mist that off. So just, just make it look a little bit distant. Just making it look a little bit distant there, like that. <clears throat> let's get in some snow clouds like as if they're just drifting away wow look how, look how I'm doing clouds a little bit of tissue paper you can do this on cardboard it's wonderful You don't want anything too defined. You don't want you don't want too much detail. You don't want too much detail in these clouds. You just want a little bit of like as if they're gonna it's gonna snow. Top them out. There we go. So it's got a little bit of cloud in the sky. You can see it's gonna snow. Yes, Father Christmas is on the way. There we are. So you could do that. It's lovely. We've actually separated those layers now. Um, and that's in the distance. That's looking really nice. Um, now I've decided that um, this particular one I'm going to use my palette knife. So let's get a little bit of this nice thick paint. And let's go to town. Let's get... I just I wanted to go that way then, but I've decided I'm going this way instead. So there we are. We just drag a little bit of snow off this peak. There we are. Just thinking. Where the snow could be catching. There we are. I'm just let the marks actually they will work for you trust me you don't have to think too much about painting this type of thing is it's like it's like painting clouds don't think too much about it just just let let it happen get some more snow in there Let's get this wonderful type of effect like that. I'm going to pick up this brush now. Now I'm going to put in some snow with a brush. Nice thick snow. And I'm just layering that in. Just like this. Layer it in. I 
got that snow coming down. You can imagine somebody climbing this mountain. It's got a bit more snow on top of that one. There we are. let it happen just let it happen nice and dark you can see this it's actually bringing it forward what we could do what we could do we could put a big almighty I'm just gonna grab some black and some burnt and bang and I'll whap that on there like this and I'm just gonna bring in another layer Just in front of that one, and there we are. Wow. Now I'm starting to play. I'm just letting my brush do what it wants to do. There you go. Do you know maybe those trees are maybe a little bit big in the background there, <laughs> but it does. It doesn't matter. They 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 could be very close to that mountain. <laughs> they are a little bit big actually. But that's fine. So we'll have to offset that now and then, won't we? Because yeah, we'll have to offset that. I think. Right, okay, so I tell you what I'm going to have to do now. And this is the fun of painting sometimes. I'm going to have to dry that again. Let's get the hairdryer on that. I use a hairdryer more than a wife, actually. <laughs> okay, so looking at that, and I am quite aware that those trees are a little bit big. Um, now, you can paint them out if you want to. Um, I'm not going to do this in this particular instance. And you could leave them out altogether, actually, because... At the time, I hadn't planned on putting this mount in there. So these things happen when you um, paint in um, off the cuff, basically. Um, and you can you can change that. It's quite easy to alter that if you want to. But I'm not going to do that today. But yeah, I am aware of that. But I'm not bothered. It's not it's not an issue with me. I can live with it. If you can't live with it, paint over it. Um, that's what I suggest. <laughs> but at the moment, I'm very happy with that. I'm very happy with uh, that one. So I'm, I'm just looking for a fan brush, actually. Yeah, it's my biggest fan. Hello, Clive. Hello, brush. I'm a fan. <laughs> so, right. Let's get some brush, uh, paint on this brush, and brush on this paint. There we go. And it's just I, what I'm going to do today. This is. Um, this is. I want you to go and have a look at Jason's paintings. Actually, I want you to go and have a look at his channel because he does some fantastic. Bob Ross style paintings and um, yeah he's he's brilliant he's a brilliant artist please pop along so I'm just uh, in honor of Jason I'm just gonna do some trees just like that there we go there's one um, I tell you what we could do. Let's get let's get uh, let's get this brush and let's just put a bit of let's get some really nice white snow coming down on this one as well. Doesn't really matter. Just rocks with snow on. And don't forget, snow is not always white. There we go. I'll tell you what we could do. Let's chuck a little bit of blue in there. We 
Makes it looks colder than what it is, really, doesn't it? There you go. I'll do. Let's get another brush. Let's put a. Let's put a. <laughs> decisions, decisions. We'll put one there. We'll put one there. Put one there. That's what happens when you paint wet on wet with acrylics. It gets a little bit all over the shop, but that's okay. We can live with that. Right, we need to put some more snow in. Down on the base here. Let's get some snow. I want a, a little bit of... I, I haven't washed my brush. This is not going to be bright white. This is going to be whatever colour it is going to be with the painters on the brush. Because I want to just put some... Highlight... On these trees a minute, like this. You can't see that one very well, can you? You can't see that one very well. I don't think you can. Um, no, you can't. It's a shame. That could possibly be a little bit darker than the background. I tell you, we, we, we could put a wash over that, um, but I'm not going to do that today because um, what's going to happen is it's just it's going to take me so long to dry that. But I'd suggest you put maybe a wash on that. I'm going to get some of this really thick paint now, and I'm just going to possibly put... Some heavy snow in. Do you know? I don't like that tree there. I don't like that tree. I tell you what we could do. I tell you what we could do. I wonder if that will make a difference. Let's have a look. Let's put a No, I don't like that. I don't like that at all, actually. What I'm gonna do let me show you what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna paint this out. Like that. Change that completely. And actually, this is a good idea to show you if you want to change things with acrylics, you can. So I'm going to dry that off really well with a with a hair dryer, and I'll come back to that in a second. Right. So let's get. Let's get jiggy with it. <laughs> Let's get some snow. Get some snow. Get some nice thick snow. Coming down like that. There we are. Plenty of white snow. We get some blue. Because what was going to happen now is there's a lot of water coming off that mountain. And we're going to make a little river coming down under that tree. Just like this. Ice 
all over that, all over this, let's get a little bit of shadow. And there's a reflection in the water from that tree there, like that. some snow on there a bit of ice in the water ice forming in the water there like that there you are so we've got a little bit of a river going on I quite like that now I quite like that now a bit of shadow there we are Shush. Yes, I like that. Let's get some let's get some nice snow on our tree. Nice thick, heavy laden branches of snow like that. Some shadow in there. There you go. Let's put some a few bits of grass, maybe. Just to lift this front up a bit, put some snow on those Snow is a wonderful thing. Just, just put a little bit in here and there like that. There you go. I quite like that now. <laughs> I do like that. It's a shame about those trees there, but what I want to try and show you today is is mainly how to play around, have fun, and. Um, and just just see what happens if you make a mistake don't don't worry about it don't go don't go panicking don't go panicking about it because at the end of the day it's, it, these these are just little things that we need to just learn to do and who knows sometimes sometimes things turn out better than you think so it's a bit like life really isn't it let's be honest we worry too much sometimes about things and at the end of the day all this is is a bit of paint on a canvas or a bit of cardboard and it does it really matter i don't think it does and not in the grand scheme of life it's just a painting it's art um art is what the what you want it to be it's not what everybody else wants it to be it's your perception not their perception and um so don't forget that don't forget it's it's your perception of things, not others. Art is an individual thing. And I think that if you try to paint for other people and to please other people, then you're never gonna you're never gonna succeed in being true to yourself. So I always try to please myself. I don't mind what others say or what others Criticize. Criticize is, criticizing is good, but it's got to be creatively criticized. At the end of the day, don't let anybody say you can't when you know you can. And if you, if you, if you don't feel as if you can do it, give it a try. Who knows what you turn out? Who knows 
at the end of the day who knows I need to put a bird in there then who knows at the end of the day what you could turn out you know little, little dead tree there there a few little things just to give a little bit of thing in the distance there like this there's another one another dead tree there that's a this had a this side of the this side of the river bang has had quite a hard life there we go <laughs> just break things up give things layers put things in perspective as best you can so thank you very much um, for watching Jason Bowen's mother <laughs> thank you big hi to, to Jason's mum again uh, thank you very much for watching and um, I hope that I've taught Jason a few things today and uh, thank you everybody uh, for everybody else for joining me don't forget to subscribe if you want to and click the notification bells and because I upload every week on Monday and I'll see you next time I hope that's helped anyway I've had a bit of fun today bye bye